In preparation for this event tonight, this uh, town hall forum, we invited Senator Boxer, Senator Feinstein, Representative Barbara Lee, Mayor Tom Bates, the whole Berkeley City Council, our assembly member Nancy Skinner, and our state senator Lonnie Hancock. Um, do you see any of them here? <laughs> This is an immense concern to the constituents of all these elected officials whose job it is to protect us. And uh, I just want to share with you how disappointed I feel. And uh, people told me they're not coming, and I said, oh, of course they'll come. Somebody will come from their office. No, not a single one. And so I'm going to write a story about this and get it published because um, this isn't <laughs> the way it's supposed to work. They're supposed to care, they're supposed to respond, they're supposed to listen to our concerns, and they're supposed to act on our behalf. Here's Brad Newsham, a great friend. I've been to every single one of his human murals that he's ever done, <laughs> along with my little dog, Jiminy. <laughs> so here he is, one coming up on Saturday. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you for doing this. It's so appropriate that it's here in Berkeley where so, many, so much great energy has come from over the years. Um, I'm going to be brief. Um, there's an event Saturday. Please come if you can. If you can't, and I understand everybody can't, uh, can't many of you cannot, but um, forward the pictures when you get them. Uh, it does make a difference what we do here in San Francisco in particular. The rest of the world pays attention to what they hear coming out of the Bay Area. Uh, I've been doing these for seven years, uh, and I'm 62 years old. Um, I had a 60th birthday party with a few families from our neighborhood at Ocean Beach, a bonfire one night, and there was a 16-year-old boy, a friend of my daughter, sitting next to me at the bonfire, and his mother was sitting, who's a chemist at USF, a chemistry professor. And uh, the 16-year-old boy says to me, okay, Brad, and we've known each other our, his whole life, um, you're an old man now, you must have some wisdom, what do you got? Uh, I wasn't ready for the question, but I thought, and I came up with this. I said, I have found that um, if you're not having fun at what you're doing, it's probably not worth doing. And uh, that's been these events. But it's really hard to figure out what's going to be fun here addressing this nuclear situation. I have no clue. I, when we were sitting there trying to listen to our DNA, I'm going to have to sleep on this one a night or two. Um, there's, I've got about two or three more disjointed thoughts here. Uh, I see the professor, whose name I have not mastered, has had to leave, but if he were still here, and even though he's not, I would like to apologize on behalf of every American for Hiroshima and Nagasaki, uh, Hiroshima where I have visited. Um, it was very kind of him to apologize for this, and if uh, I, I was, I was tempted, tempted to make some sort of joke about this is a weird way to get back, of us, back at us, but uh, it's kind of hard to laugh about this. Um, hospital curve. I, I, I drove a cab for 28 years. That may have ended this year. Uh, I was coming about 15 years ago with a passenger in the back seat. I was coming around hospital curve in San Francisco headed to the airport, and I had an experience that I, I can't explain, the punch, there's no punchline to this, but as I was making that curve, and I came to the straightaway, just about the Army Street, Cesar Chavez exit, you, you, many of you can picture that, something happened, and, and, and it's been a long, long time since I've done any sort of chemical enhancements, but um, my shutter in my mind, that thing was straight ahead, and it opened up, and that entire freeway was cracked, it was empty, there was a couple of cars at odd angles down there, and then it shut. And it was about a second, a uh, half a second, I would guess, in clock time. And I always wondered, what in the world was that? No punchline. I hope it's not too soon. Eckhart Tolle, uh, 
says that the uh, world is getting, if you, no, if you notice, it is getting much, much, much worse. But if you also notice, it is also getting much, much, much better at the same time. And someone re had a reading tonight that ended with unless, and I think that fits in here, unless we do something, unless whatever we can do. And the one thing we can do is go to Ocean Beach uh, uh, Saturday at 1045, helicopter overhead at noon, postcards in the mail within a few days, and all over the internet, and if we get lucky on the TV news and uh, in the newspapers. Eight o'clock tomorrow, there's a KPFA show that uh, John and I recorded an interview that will be broadcast tomorrow. Thank you. Let's, good luck to all of us.